you guys do a lot of shows. Do you have um, do you guys perform every night? Uh, six days a week. Six days a week. Not yeah. tonight, though. Nope. Tuesdays were off. Of course, that's my day off. I was gonna, actually going to come to the show again tonight. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Um, so we're very lucky because of what we do. Doing so many shows, you actually can perfect routines. Yeah. Pretty quick. You know, I have some friends that are jealous that work on cruise ships, and they say, "Well, we do one night a week, which is awesome." That's I it. Cru- yeah, that's. that's when I, I do business. cruise ships. Yeah, I do cruise <laughs> ships three months a year, and so yeah, you do one night a week. Mm-hmm. But they say, here's the problem, is that we can't put something new in because you don't want to jeopardize. I mean, you can if you're very confident in it, but you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you don't want to jeopardize your show uh, by putting in a new 10-minute segment in a 40-minute show. Yeah. And they say, well, with you, you in a week, you can rehearse, do the routine more than we can do it in yeah. two months. So I think we're really lucky because even if you don't like a routine, let's take the clocks. I mean, yeah. I, you probably liked it. Yeah. But it's somebody else's routine. Um but you perfected it. Like oh. you got really good at it. Like I can't stand linking rings, but I came up with my own presentation for it. Mm-hmm. Did it for one season. That means I did it four hundred and seventeen times. <laughs> yeah. So you got pretty good at it. Yeah, I think. And one of, one of the cool things is, right before I came out to Branson, um, I bought a book that was written by a friend of mine who owns a magic shop back in Wisconsin uh, called The Crystal Cups, and it's mm-hmm. cups and balls with clear cups. And it was oh, published yeah. like before I was born, but no one knew about it because it's in a small little magic shop and you know, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Um, and I was playing around with that. And um, from there, and because of the show, I was able to develop a full, like, two-minute routine, all choreographed to music and stuff, mm-hmm. um, towards the end of the year. And I was doing that every single night. Oh, I don't think I uh, saw that. Yeah, yeah the, the whole routine but on its own, though, um, I'm still not happy with. I still had to do tons of work to it. But we decided to cut it this year. Not because it wasn't strong or anything, but because I wanted to do some other stuff. Right, right. To do some more personality style stuff. Yeah, do you guys still do the uh, Cups and Balls little competition thing? We don't. We don't do that anymore. We do have a different ensemble piece, which I think is way cooler, way stronger. Um, I like the Cups and Balls kind of thing, because it was like a jam session on Cups and Balls. But what I didn't like about it is that it's the same trick four or five times, right. just slightly different. Um, mm-hmm. And to us, we can see the difference, right? Yeah. But to some of the audience, I mean, you know, it's just yeah. like when you pull out a deck of cards and yeah. people say, I've seen this trick before. Really? You don't <laughs> even know what I'm going to do. Exactly. So, yeah. exactly. So, um, that's why I didn't like it. But now, um, instead, we do uh, in uh, like an everyday objects thing where at the top of the show, before the show curtain even opens, there's a trace in up front and people from the audience get to throw whatever random junk oh, they really? want. And then we all come out there and just... You know, it's kind of like, well, let's see what I can do with this. Mm-hmm. And we kind like of, a Wizard Wars. Yeah, sort of almost kind of like a Wizard yeah. War type thing. So, yeah. Do you go to a lot of magic conventions? Um, I don't. I want to. I just, uh-huh. I, I, I don't have time. Right. You know, I mean, I'm here 10 months out of the year. I'm off January, February. So you I can don't make... want to be doing magic. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I do. That's, I do want to be. Do. I mean, I love it. And that's the whole point of that. I came out here, so I love it. And I can provide, my, my, I'm fortunate enough that my wife doesn't have to work. Uh, I can provide for my family. Um, we, we've got a great three bedroom condo here and, um, yeah. the show I'm there four hours a day. I mean, not a lot of people can do that. And yeah. it's something I'm passionate about, something I love. Granted, that's the only time I'm there I'm working four hours, but I'm, st- I'm constantly working at home too. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, people don't to. realize that. No. Like, they'll see something on stage and our goal is to learn something, uh, be able to do it so well that people can't see what we're doing. Yeah. And so that's kind of frustrating because mm-hmm. sometimes, cause I do a, a manipulation act mm-hmm. and I'll do a move and it'll get a pretty good reaction, but you're like, that took me six months to be able yeah. to even attempt to do that on stage. Well, like even a muscle pass, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, like something like that. And I, I love coin work. I love doing stuff with coins. Mm-hmm. Um, but even that, that takes forever and ever. And that's, that's just at home practicing. Right. That's not like, you know, building your website and meeting contacts and marketing and advertising yeah. and finding work for the two months that I'm not doing shows here in Branson, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, there is a difference though. There's a lot of routines that I do, uh, that I would never do on stage, but I like to do it with friends or, mm-hmm. you know, uh, so we'll be at the landing we're over at the Applebee's there. Mm-hmm. And so a friend will say something and I'll, I'll do a routine. They're like, holy crap. Like, why aren't you doing that on stage? Mm-hmm. And a lot of it has to do with mentalism. Mm-hmm. But the problem that I have with that is, uh, especially here, whenever we do anything uh, with mentalism, people always assume it's set up for us. They always yeah. say, oh, that's a plant. I hate that word. Mm-hmm. But that's a plant in the audience. Or they, stooge, they can't or... ex- And I attribute that to they can't accept the fact that they were fooled 
or that you had the skill to do it. Like it mm-hmm. had to, you had to be tricking them. You had to be, a, it has to be a joke on them. That, and if you go on TripAdvisor and you read some of the reviews from our shows, a lot of people think that we use plants or stooges on our show, uh, mm-hmm. specifically because of our finale now, um, in which we vanish five people on stage, oh, yeah. five random, and they really are random, random volunteers that we vanish on stage. Uh-huh. Um, so they think that's a plant. Um, I was accused of using a plant. I posted a video on my Facebook page, um, and someone accused me of using a, a stooge for this trick I do with a dollar bill. Yeah, yeah, and, I did that too. And um, I'm like, you know, uh, and it's almost a compliment in one way because it's, you know what, they ruled out every other idea and possibility other than me using a plant. Yeah, which, See, I, I take which, it as a slam because I I feel like yeah. they are saying no, there's no way you can you can do that. Like they're doubting your skill. Yeah, you know? which I, I suppose in one way it's in one way it could be, but like that means that everything is so clean. Like mm-hmm. that means your skill is so good that they they, they can't think of anything otherwise. Yeah. You know? Uh, and to me that's it's kind of a compliment because I mean I'm not like super against using stooges in certain situations, but I don't use any yeah, myself I personally. Um I just I feel like I have more respect for the art than that. Mm-hmm than to, to yeah. fake anything. Yeah, because uh, like a confabulation routine. I've always done some sort of confabulation. Yeah. And whenever I post those online, people are, would say, it's a great presentation, but obviously you knew all those people. Or mm-hmm. I have a character that I do uh, just on the internet. And uh, healed and sealed. Yeah, it's a great trick. You know, it's old. It used to be my opener about paying attention and then mm-hmm. uh, whatever. Um and so I posted that, and the first five comments were, camera tricks are awesome. Isn't <laughs> editing fun? I like stuff like that. I'm like, dude, come on. Yeah. yeah. Very frustrating to me, but um, That, that can I be, guess. especially in this day and age when um, anyone can get a Mac or you can get Avid or Final Cut Pro or whatever you want, and you could do some incredible stuff with that. Like even high school kids these days, it's not, it's not difficult. I mean, I went to school for the stuff I know, yeah. um, but like I said, I've got more respect, and I don't want to... Yeah. chins anything out there's i mean there's a difference between camera tricks and maybe moving the camera slightly to the left so they don't see a move yeah if you're not hiding yeah it, as long as mm-hmm. it's not glaring and the only reason is because on video you can rewind you right. know but um that was gonna be my next question how the internet has changed what we do entirely oh, i cannot post anything uh, I have like 280 videos. I can't post anything without people saying, well, at one minute and 38 seconds, you do this. Mm-hmm. And, it, you know, they just sit there and they pick these trolls Absolutely. in magic, just pick at it. And even I put in the description because of the character I do, I say, this is not about the trick. This is about thinking of uh, routines in a different way. Mm-hmm. And this is my way of developing this character. And so people will still say it's cups and balls. I do mm-hmm. a lot of different cups and balls. And they'll say, at one minute and 47 seconds, you're doing this. And at two minutes and seven seconds, you're doing... It just pisses me off. <laughs> you know? So I, I should stop doing that? Yeah, you've <laughs> got to stop. Seriously.